Hello, Just Jax here and welcome to my channel. Back with the UV resin, back with a bit of an experiment. I have some really tiny hand canvas. Really tiny little canvases that come with little tiny easels. Um, I bought a few of these because I saw them in the shops and they were like dirt cheap, like 50 odd P. So I was like, oh, there's got to be something I can do with them, right? And earlier on, but a video probably released over last week or the week before, I made this little guy. Check him out. A little tiny baby skeleton dragon in an egg. And that was an experiment of its own because I made some black UV resin to play with. Um, and I've now got a surplus of it. So I thought, well, what can I do with that? I could, like, find another little tiny mould, use it up. I was like, well, how about trying doing a bit of a pour on a canvas? Now, it's not going to be a rainbow pour, because I just want to use that up, basically, and this is just an experiment. So what I'm going to do, actually, is something I forgot to do, is just pop. I can dig it out. because I know there's going to be spillover and I know resin doesn't stick to packaging tape from another experiment and I also know I can't find the end I am going to stick pardon the, the sound, I am going to stick some packaging tape down Easy clear up. One more just to make sure. Like now we can have this laying down here like so. So I've got it on two lollipop sticks because I want it to not, I want it to run off the edge basically. So I've got some foil. I've never played with that before. And I have played with glitters before, but I've been rather heavy handed with them. So I think what I'm going to try and do is pour that on, pop a little bit of that in. With some tweezers. And not shut my wires in the drawer. And sprinkle a little bit of glitter on and then give it a clear layer over the top of that maybe we'll see let's just pour and find out Which will go right up to the edges. I think we have gone everywhere apart from right there and there. Make sure we get those corners. I think we've got a nice coverage. Right, let's have a little tiny play.
just got a little bit of this foil. I'm just going to let it fall. I'm going to go for a little semi abstract. And they've all gone that way. Let's get Let that just touch down. Now let's try. So last time I played with glitter was in fact one of my first plays with resin full stop. I was very, very heavy handed. So I'm going to go very, very minimal this time. I made a bit of a glitter explosion last time I played with glitter, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to try less is more. And I think because I love blue, okay, no more glitter, otherwise we'll just have another variation of a glitter bomb. Do I try and put let's put a little different color foil in there. Just make sure that that's touched down. What else have we got that I haven't played with before? It's got to go in with the theme anyway. Pop one of these in there. Yes. I've got three colours. Let's oh and I've opened that one upside down now. That is a silly thing to do. Let's pick another. And then one more colour, just yellow. Make sure I don't open it upside down again. Let's pick a little tiny one, if I can get it out. Yeah, you. Right. Interesting. Not really a canvas that's going to be anything in particular, just an experiment. So I'm going to cure that, see how it looks, and then give it a once over. Oh, I am curious, I'm so tempted to put something else in there, but it's already abstract enough. Is there anything else that's just right to hand?
I'm going to put what do I not use the colour of very often? Red. Ooh. White. I always end up using blue. Let's go green. It's going to be a sparkle fest. Purple? Dark blue. Well, blue was going to end up in there at some point, wasn't it? All right. I quite like that. You know what? That would have probably been nice without the foils whatsoever and just having those specks of colour. So I'm going to cure that when we come back. Um, we'll decide whether we're going to put another layer on top or not. Okay, I removed it from the sticks when it was safe enough to touch on the top because I kind of thought this had happened. My original plan was to put something right in the middle so it didn't stick to the sticks. So there's going to be some tidy up to do around the edges, but that's fine. I am going to give this one drizzle over the top. Let that cure. Then we'll tidy it up and see what we got. So let's do that. I have... It's a bit obscure. So we'll try... Let's spread that evenly. Over the top of everything. Oops, flexibly blob and I think it just About landed on the tape. Right. I'll let that cure now. It worked. We're done. That is a super shiny, smooth finish. The edges are not so <laughs> the back, oh my days. But this is just a little test piece. That's come out really cool. I've got quite a few of these little canvases and I'm going to pick up a few more and I'm going to try in the future doing some pours but with multiple colours, seeing what we can get and setting up a better point for underneath. So I'm going to have something support it all just there. So it can literally just run off the edges and I can snip it off and tidy it up. And we'll smooth off down the sides as well. Make it all professional. But check that out. I'm quite pleased with that. Just for a little experiment. I really like it. And it can even have pride of place. On its own little easel, which can go quite a ways back. Let me prop that up on a soapbox for now. Let me come up a little bit higher, like that.
Yeah, I quite like that. I like how it's come out for a little experiment and a little play because I've never poured it on canvas before. That was a success. And the J. Dixon dries really nice and shiny and really nice and smooth. And obviously nice and transparent because you can see everything really clear. So, yeah, that's given us some new ideas for some new things to try. The possibilities with resin seem to be endless. And I'm looking forward to just trying more and more new things, as well as refining things that I've been trying. Like, I've got a refine, a bubble-free result that isn't just flat. That's bubble-free. Beautiful. This little guy was all bubble free apart from where did I see it a little tiny one and get that in focus right there in his tail and I don't think that's the mold I think that's a bubble but I'm gonna have to ins inspect the mold thoroughly so yeah that was fun I hope it's giving you ideas if you are new to resin too that is a nice simple resin project to do just a little abstract canvas and like I say, those dinky ones, you can even get little mag... Oh, we can make some magnet canvases. Again, the ideas. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking me and my channel out. I do hope you've enjoyed this. I do hope it's given you ideas and confidence. Just give stuff a go, even if you don't quite know what you're doing or where you're going to go with it. I didn't quite know where I was going to go with this, but I really like how it's come out. And... Like if you like what you see, comment if you've got something to say, and subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more and know when it's coming. Thank you all again so, so much. Take care and see you in the next one.